sanctions against the country, against uh, the Russian Federation, and against uh, the people of Russia, I don't think it's appropriate in the 21st century. New technology means individual sanctions against those people who are involved in the uh, destroyment of um, European security. And I think that is absolutely the uh, right way uh, Euro US government and the European Union governments already started to do. The least uh, number of people, not enough. For instance, we cannot see there, there in the list all members of Russian parliament who voted for annexation of Crimea or who voted for permission for Mr. Putin to have an invasion, a military invasion in Ukraine. And he now is threatening the whole world by that, by this permission. I think these people should be there. For instance, other people uh, close to, 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 to the regime, to Mr. Putin, just uh, business people, they also um, uh, could be there. They getting all state contracts for implementation, they're making money. On, on that, and they, they, they're strengthening the, this particular regime. They, they are not just part, I would say, the whole Russian, I would say, economic e economy or, or just industrial world, but they special tools in the Putin's hands. I think they also should be there. Um, and and that's, why, that's why I think just um, uh, dividing the elite, that's a very important uh, uh, direction of activity. Dividing, I wouldn't say elite, the ruling group. We can refer to government officials, those ministers who also uh, in the decision making process and who now uh, providing all necessary resources just for uh, to, uh, to, to, uh, to annex Crimea and just to punish uh, Ukraine and you. Ukrainian government, I think that's absolutely absolutely natural to put these people there.